the overall prizes. Whoa. The winner is, drum roll please. Is it the French table on the way though? Like honestly, like aren't all the French Okay, sorry. Okay. It is! It was one of the most beautiful experiences of, of my life. It's an un unforgettable event for me. Uh, about me, if I have never traveled uh, more than three states in India itself. I basically eat hackathons for breakfast, lunch and dinner. I'm interested in it. Me and my team have recently been to Harvard and Boston and worked on a hackathon for 36 hours. And we ended up winning Hack Harvard 2024, which is a very big thing in our life. Harvard Sarvaglas Ala Ilnarna, Hack Harvard Malsaratil, India Kabhimanamai, Amrutha Vishu Vidya Pietam Koimatur campus with the Arthagad. I, Surya, and Navneet are roommates, and Amrit is one of our close friends. So we used to normally hang out. We have a lot of things. For example, Amrit is there, he brings professionalism. Shrikar is there, he brings uh, uh, that funny vibe to the group. Surya is there, where, he, uh, where he's a guy who has the discipline who structures it, and I'm a guy who's lazy. Before we all came together, we participated in many hackathons in Amrita. For one hackathon, in, uh, which, which was Intel, one API hackathon, uh, which happened as part of Anoka 2024, we decided we'll come together uh, to build an app. That was the first time when I, uh, we all came together as a team to build an app. So uh, when we landed in US, uh, I was not expecting it to be very cold. Uh, I thought it would be a, a warm kind of climate. As soon as we end, uh, got outside the airport, it was around four degrees Celsius. First day of the hackathon, when we were about to enter the campus, we the first people we saw there had MIT MIT ID cards. We were intimidated intimidated by him. We lo we saw a lot of other students as well. Within um, amongst ourselves, we discussed that uh, it's, it's hard to win this hackathon. It's, it's not possible because these people are from universities like MIT, Stanford, Harvard, like one of the best universities on earth. They were already started building on applications and stuff. They were already coding, and we we didn't even have an application idea yet. So we we lost the confidence at start. Then we slowly sat, we ideated, and we got, a, we got in a call with our professor, Dr. Premjit B. He's an assistant, senior assistant professor at uh, Amrita School of AI. So we spoke with him, we, we ideated, we came up with a lot of features. We, we just believed in ourselves and we just said, just try it out, we just try it out, see what happens. We drank a lot of coffee, like at least a liter of coffee in just one day. After doing that, we, we stood up straight, we didn't sleep for two days continuously. It was around 36 hours, like all together. We pulled it off somehow. After building the app, we got the confidence back. So, plus we met a lot of people like Professor David J. Malin, one of the most popular professors who teaches Python and computer science to people, to freshers. And we also met the Nobel Prize Award winner, um, uh, Leslie Valiant. We're hackathon in Boston, and now we're riding bikes. It's exciting, it's fun. Yeah, uh, so do you remember what happened is we sit together in the main conference hall, then the tracks were announced out. It was uh, healthcare, it was smart cities, and then we had open source data. All those three weren't convincing for us, then sustainability came, they were like, wow, we got an idea. Four of us actually believe that sustainability is not just about what the environment is facing, but it's about the correlation between humans and the environment. So with that thing in our mind and keeping in mind that small actions from each human together can make a very big impact and we made an app which will help you recycle and upcycle the uh, used things in your house to make it some fun, fun DIY stuff out of it uh, which can in turn reduce the plastic on the earth. So EcoSorbing basically helps you choose stuff that is causing less environmental uh, problems. If I suppose you, you went to the store to buy a ketchup. So when I give the content of the ketchup, it will tell me which ketchup to choose from, which will not affect my diabetes, or if I should buy that at all or no. So in a way, we are helping people to make sustainable choices for the environment, while you're making the environment anyway sustainable, but you should also be sustainable enough to live in that, right? So we're giving that too. So that is basically our app. Competing against uh, teams from top universities like MIT, Harvard, and Stanford, they made us proud with their AI-powered app. Sustainify. It was the D-Day of the result. When the sustainability track prize was announced, it was not us. We all were very disappointed that, okay, the sustainability track was not there, so we lost. And finally, the time comes for overall winner, overall best track. And as soon as they said, Sustainify. We, we got so excited, we started shouting, and then all the Harvard people and the MIT people were looking at us as if, as if something happened. Both of them started running from the back to the front. I started screaming. 
we accepted the prize. We have photographs of me doing this and all in front of people. Everyone started coming to us and talking to us, all the MIT, MIT students and all. And then they, they were asking us to uh, follow them on LinkedIn. And then they even took an interview with us there. So that one second can be defined as happiness. What they have done really is, is something that takes um, months and months of hard work and it also comes with a lot of uh, regulated and disciplined tutoring um, at a very AI proctored level. People here are very, I mean, very diverse in Amrita. It's not like a usual college where you just sit, study, write exams, get marks. It's not like that. In Amrita you do projects and not just simple projects. You touch into every single subject. And also the curriculum, it's a very hardcore curriculum. It is not that AI has only math or study only math. It teaches us from the basics of math. Then we have different fields. Right now in uh, our fifth sem, we have biomedical signal processing. That is opening a gate to signal processing. I would say Amrita gave us a dynamic culture. It's not just about learning mathematics and science because we took AI. It was about uh, integrating AI in every, every single aspect possible. Not only learning AI, but we are directly applying it because we have projects in every sem. So every sem we have like on, on an average like five subjects. So we do five projects, integrating AI in different domains. That is like basically an experience to us. So we explored all the possible ways out and then we ended up building successful applications that. I would personally describe it as every day is a hackathon for me. So you wake up, you work, you work hard, you pitch your idea and uh, you repeat. So this is what happens every day in Amrita. After a week or something, we met Amma and uh, so the thing went very viral after that. Amma was super, super happy about it. People started calling us, they congratulated us. A lot of startup founders reached out to us. So invitations to pitch in big uh, multi-million dollar funding companies to get to make this into a startup. Perseverance is what all matters altogether. So just do what you like and make it happen altogether. Do you remember that dream which I was talking to you about a year ago? Well, oh, you're right. Ah, exactly. One day, Amrit calls me at night 12 o'clock. So he, he started telling that I have a dream. We should go to US. Some other teams have been shortlisted. They are going to US with their girlfriends. We don't have girlfriends anyways, but we have to go somehow. We should do something. And I told him that day that when our time comes, we will shine. And look at us. <laughs> we went and we won in Harvard. <laughs>